Hi, this is Eric Martin with Board Game Geek. I'm here with Matthew Bonin from Yellow, and we'll be looking at Theo Rivera's Sea of Clouds. So, looks nice. Yes, it looks nice, and it plays really good. Oh, it's, that's good too. It's okay. A, it's a, a, a drafting game, but with a, an original take on, on drafting, I think. We play pirates, mm -hmm. okay? Flying pirates. Not sure why how not? they're flying, but why not? Okay. okay. It's, Always good to be in the air, and um, we uh, the game will be played in twelve or fifteen rounds, depending on the number of player. Okay, okay? Uh, and every now and then there'll be a, a boarding action phase, you know, like a, a combat phase. Right. Um, so taking turns, we're going to take cards from the different share of loot here. Okay. okay. To do so, we first look at the first one secretly and we decide if we want to keep it or if not if we keep it uh, you just add it to, to around your board so there's a uh, little icons on the board to tell you where all the the cards go okay, okay. Uh, and you put another card instead in in the the slot okay. if you don't want it you put it back but you still add one card okay so okay. So this share of loot gets better for the next player. Right. But then you, you get a chance to look at the second one and you just do the same. You either keep it or leave it. Uh, if there's already three cards in a share of loot and you don't want to keep it, we don't add more cards, but we add, we add coins instead. Okay. Okay? So it still gets better for the next player. If you looked at the third, uh, share and you don't want it, you put it back, you add one card, and then you draw a random card from the pile. Okay. Okay? There's uh, always hints about what's in the share with the back, the backs of the cards. Okay? There's four types of card. The first one, and the easiest one to explain, uh, is the rum. Okay? There's bottle, bottles of rum. Uh, so usually they just grant victory points in the stars. The figures is victory points. Okay. okay. Sometimes they actually make you lose victory point when it's fake rum. It's not a good thing. Uh, some of them uh, are worth more if you have the most of them, more than than all the other players. Okay. okay? That's just rum. You just put them face face down in front of you. Uh, the second type of cards are the blue one, it's relics, like this one. The relics you want to collect to get more points. Right. If uh, you don't have enough, you will lose point at the end of the, of the game, but the more you have, the more you score. Okay. Quite easy. Those are face up and uh, will be um, sometimes stolen from you. Okay. Okay. The third type of cards are the green one, the items. Okay, there's actually three types of items. There's the the, the one-time items with the little dustbin here. Uh, you keep them face down, and when you want to play them, you just discard them and you apply the effect. Okay. For example, here you can make all the other players give you one coin. Okay. okay? Uh, then there's the permanent item that you put in front of you face up and that grants you a bonus or a malice for example this one uh, gives you a, 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 a one penalty uh, in in combat okay and to finish with this the books the tomes uh, that grants you uh, their secrets like the this, this little uh, symbol uh, tell you uh, tells you and they grant you with uh, points at the end of the game depending on, on what you have, what cards you have. For example, this one grants you one for every relic you have in front of you. Okay? The last type of cards are the pirates, those red cards. When you recruit a pirate, you put it face up in front of you here. Okay. The, the strength of the pirate is the little number here. At the end of the rounds with these little swords on it, uh, there's a boarding action. So 
you compare the strength of all your pirates to the ones of your neighbors. And for each victory you have, you trigger all the effects. So you can steal coins, you can steal cards, you can gain, gain coins from, from the, the bank. Uh, there's, so you can exchange some ROM cards with the others. There's, a, there's several uh, type of effects. Afterwards, you discard all your pirates and you'll have to recruit more for the next boarding action. Okay. At the end of the game, you use the, this little pad to, to score, to count the score. So you get one victory point for each coin you have. Uh, then you score your ROM, your relics, your secrets, your items, mm. and whoever has the most points wins the game. Okay. All right. Sounds pretty straightforward in here. It's a neat yeah. little mix here. So you see what's coming, which is going to affect. Yeah. And, and, and this mechanism with the share of loots uh, works really great. You, you, you look at the cards and you know that if you don't take them, you will give them to you will give an opportunity for your next player to take them right. and another card or another coin. So it will be even better for them. But if you if you leave them, you will also get a chance to see what's next and maybe it will be better. So there's a little bit of drafting, a little bit of push your luck and it works really fine. Okay. Thanks for the overview. Welcome.